Hey everybody, I am doing a really quick update today on the One Book July uh, challenge. I missed last week because we were out camping for a whole week. And that was uh, really a big part for me of the One Book July challenge was getting all of my camping pictures from this summer into this lovely book that I got from Trudy. And I've showed some uh, updates on it before. And I have done a little bit more from our previous trips. I don't have all of our pictures from this last one even downloaded onto my computer yet. Because between uh, Greg and I, we have over 300 pictures uh, of our trip. We went to... Um, the Black Canyon of the Gunnison and which is absolutely gorgeous so we were all over this area and we were in Crawford we were in uh, we camped at Elk Creek on the Blue Mesa we went all around the Black Canyon up through here we stayed in Peonia Peonia I don't know how you say that I've never been there uh, then we went up to Oh gosh, I want to say Glenwood Springs is where we ended up staying our last night before we came home. But we just had a blast. Fishing, hiking, unbelievable scenery. So yeah, 300 pictures of uh, the Black Canyon and the surrounding areas. So it's going to take me a little while to get through all that. But we had a really good time. We had a blast. And... I would do it again in a heartbeat but so um, I don't have those downloaded yet so therefore of course I don't have them printed and I'm gonna have to weed through them very carefully since we have over 300 pictures we both enjoy taking pictures of where we go so but uh, I do have a few more in here from uh, previous trips this summer and I thought this was a good picture until I got it in the book and I'm like oh my god they say the camera adds 10 pounds. You know what else adds 10 pounds? Pizza. I need to be careful with the pizza, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> so here's just a few little quick photos. And I love this book because of all the really neat little fold outs and everything that Trudy put in here. This at first was a challenge because I'm used to the 12 by 12 But this is so much nicer now that I'm used to it because I Can just put one or two pictures on a page and That's it. I don't have to worry about everything else that I would put on a page uh, in my big books uh, the little tags are great for journaling um, yeah, I'm really excited about putting these pictures in here. And I don't think I've showed these before. This was on Father's Day. So you can see that was a while ago. But, um, yeah, I am so excited about this book. And I'm going to have a great time putting in the rest of our pictures, I think. So, again, 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 Trudy. Oh, I love it. And it's so nice to just be able to pull this out and remember our wonderful trips that we took. Greg took that picture. I love it. And I don't know if you can see, but that's me down there. I'm still fishing, even though it's like getting really dark. <laughs> because I love to fish. Uh, so, yeah. Just really great and so I will start and I've got quite a bit of room for those 300 pictures in my next uh, for my next trip so that will be a lot of fun so I, I wanted to remind everybody that the one book July challenge of course it'll be ending soon because it won't be July anymore and I've had a couple of people, several people, tag me either on Facebook, uh, Instagram, here on YouTube, 
I don't care how you get a hold of me, you know, instant message me, I don't care. Uh, just to let me know what you did for One Book July. It doesn't mean you had to finish anything. It was just about, you know, some attainable goals, a little challenges for yourself. You know, this was, like I say, a huge challenge for me because I was working on such a smaller scale. And I ended up really loving this. And I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself some more of these uh, little travel journals for our next camping summers. Uh, but anyway, tag me somehow or another because I have a huge stack of deliciousness to send out to someone who tags me and lets me know that they tried it. It Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. Um, just let me know. You know, I'm just interested in how things went for you. And I just want to spread a little bit of love. I've had so many people be so generous with me. And I just, I want to pay it forward. So let me know what you did. Uh, if you have a picture, great. If not, just tell me about it. Let me know what worked, what didn't work. Maybe you'll give me some ideas, you know? That would be great, too. So I have that huge, huge bag of goodies that I would love to send somebody. So make sure you do that. Tag me, tag me, tag me. And then uh, speaking of generous, I had someone who was very generous with me. I don't even know her. Uh, she was just a very nice lady who sent me a really nice rack. <clears throat> and... Um, the same day that I was kind of building this, uh, Julie K came out with her video on how she alters the composition books. So a huge shout out to her because she does the most wonderful layering. And if you don't subscribe to Julie K, you need to because she is super talented, but even better, she is so generous with her time and her knowledge. <clears throat> I ask her questions all the time and she always answers them and uh, I don't think she's really irritated with me for asking these questions <laughs> but she's a sweetheart I'll link her channel below too uh, so as I was doing this I was watching her her uh, tutorial and so this is for like I said this really nice lady who sent me a really nice rack and this is a there was, uh, it wasn't a Bible, but it had verses in it. It looked kind of dog-eared <clears throat> and tore up. And this was just going to get chucked out of the store. And I said, no, no, I want it. The cover, as you can see, there's nothing wrong with the cover. Absolutely nothing. So I gutted it, and I've used the pages in many other things, and... I just thought that this was the, the great time to uh, use the actual cover. And this lady, um, I kind of stalked her on Facebook a little bit, and she uh, has a great looking family. She does a lot of stuff with her family. And so I made this kind of a, a family theme for her. <clears throat> and the paper that I used was from Adorn It which I had never heard of before, but I got some at Tuesday morning. She can journal here or mount a picture. Same thing here. And I'll just do a really quick flip through here. Someone had given me some antique paper that was almost the correct size. So I just had to cut it down just a little tiny bit. And this is part of that Adorn It paper collection, and I believe it's called Remember When. And again, thank you, Julie K. I'm getting better. <laughs> and I turned that into a little pocket there as well. I think this is just really super cute. There's a little card here. <clears throat> And it didn't take me very long to make this, but I really enjoyed it because, 
You know, sometimes when you make a journal, you want to know who it's going to so that you know, you know, just what to put in it. And um, this will be a surprise for her. She doesn't know I'm doing this. But um, knowing that it was going to her, I'm hoping she likes the style. Not really vintage-y, but a kind of a shabby, chic kind of maybe. So I hope she likes it. Um, but I just wanted to do something for her, like I say, to pay it back because she was so generous. And she doesn't know me from Adam. Just a little tuck here. And uh, all of the paper is from that collection, and it all coordinates, of course. I guess I could get in frame there. And then these are just some coffee dyed pieces. This is my little note to her, telling her how wonderful she is and how she just made my day. And that is that. And again, she can use these for some pictures or whatever and of course my little stamp there so unfortunately I won't have time to put this in the mail until I get back from Texas we're going a bunch of us gals are getting together um, to craft and learn and have fun and laugh and Ugh, I don't even know what all we're going to do. Shop. <laughs> uh, we're getting together. Um, like I say, we've never met before, but I'm really excited to go down and meet these ladies. It'll be down in Texas, in an area of Texas that I've never been before. And a few of them are down there right now, and I'll be down there tomorrow. So this will get mailed back to that person. Um around the 1st of August, somewhere in that area, and that is also when I will do my drawing. So, tag me for that, and um, someone will be getting a, a cute little journal in the mail here soon, and everybody else, have a wonderful rest of the weekend, have a wonderful rest of July, and just remember to, uh, you know, pay it forward pay it forward that's that's my big thing this year pay it forward so uh, all right everybody have a great evening thank you bye